Okay, I have another surprise guitar here because uh, I don't know what's inside it. It's from the same chappy who sells the guitars. Uh, I set up his guitars for him and he makes a donation to a CC or the CC shop every time. So I do a few guitars for him. I must find out if he wants me to... Oh look! <laughs> Thank you! I'm gonna keep them. Thank you! A really ace classic and a David Miller music .co uk right they'll go into my pick jar <laughs> one of the perks of being a luthier right let's see what's inside this thing but I really don't know I haven't looked uh, right. oh it goes the whole way around thank you for that one what have we got oh a very nice looking tanglewood it, 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 it looks like a it looks like, oh, it's a three-quarter guitar. It's a three-quarter guitar. Right. Uh, Tanglewood. A Les Paul miniature, I would say. And a set of strings there. Strings are very, very old. It's neat. I like that. I like it's very neat. Uh, one thing I do notice is that it's got a very high action. The action's quite high. Actually, the action along the whole top is quite high, uh, and you, it's gone down as low as it possibly can there. But the good thing about this uh, Les Paul Tanglewood copy is that you can take the neck off and put a shim in, and it'll be like Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. Like, uh, is that getting into focus? Now, come on, get into focus. Thank you. I must bring the focus. Hold on, I just press the focus button here to go on the guitar. I've got it on manual because it's so freaking useless. Well, manual in the center. Right, that's better. Get a kick in the ass next time. So, let's try the neck to see if the neck is straight or crooked or upside down. On. And will my tools work on this kind of neck? Uh, it will, it will. And the neck has got a large underbow. A large underbow, underbow. Let me just show you that on the iPhone. Like I did with the last one. A video there with the light behind it. It looks even better. Right, okay. And where are we? Get down there, get down there, down and dirty past the strings and go along and you can see the light you've got actually about the same underbow as you had on that uh, telecaster let's hope this the let's pray that the truss rod works okay must try the electrics to see what the electrics sound like right okay on Feels a little bit loose, and the nut looks a little bit loose too. Oh, the switch is very dirty. Right, right. Pickup's working fine. It's just the switch is extremely dirty, and I think that this is going to have to come out to fix little bits of uh, damage which I can touch up but I can't fix. Oh look it's got a plate as well. I like it. I like it. This is the kind of guitar you can sit on the, on the, the settee at night and play. I sing you a lovely song. Listen. Venus must have heard my plea. She has sent someone along to me. your heart out. Okay, let's get on with the work. Bye-bye. Strings are off. Uh, I noticed that a couple of the bolts are loose, but not very much. But I also noticed on the other side that there's some sort of weird damage to the plastic. 
and I'm wondering maybe it's actually plastic on the nuts that hasn't been taken off from the manufacturer. But because they look so ugly, whatever, whatever it is, oh look, that's what it is. It's just the original plastic is on the, it's never been taken off. Okay, I think I'll let the, uh, well it might be tarnished, uh, actually it is tarnished, let me just see. Mm -hmm. It's brass, but the fact that they haven't taken the nut off it left a little bit of stain on it, so better off than the, yeah, better off, better out than in. I wonder what that stain is. I think maybe a bit of brasso might take that off. I was going to let the owner have the pleasure of taking off these little things, but but uh, it may need a bit of work done to get it get it. Yeah, you know, they're a bit tarnished. Anyway, I like doing this. This is my bonus. Ooh, like unboxing. What do you call him? Unbox therapy. Unfortunately, unbox therapy seem to have lost their plot a little bit. They've gone a bit arty farty. I think they're maybe bored making money. I think they need to go back to what they did best and unbox stuff that's interesting. But I think that what do you call the chappy from unbox therapy? I can't remember his name. He's, he's, he's almost acting nowadays. He's lost that little bit of... Well, in my opinion, he's lost his je ne sais quoi. Let me put that down there. I'm going to put that back up again. So I'll clean those up. They're not too bad. Uh, tighten them up a little bit. And I might as well just check the truss rod now that, now that you're with me again. I had to adjust my camera. I, I, I'm... I'm I have this expensive camera and I was a photographer for 20 years. I did wedding photography and I used a Mamaya Flex and a Rolla Flex and I did all the weddings. I did hundreds and hundreds of weddings for 20 years. I was also a photographer for a newspaper. That was my sort of hobby. Uh, but I bought this new camera uh, two years ago and I haven't even bothered learning how to work it properly. So this, this, these videos are teaching me how to how to work the, the camera a bit better because I'm having to learn now. Oh look, that's very good. Now we have an underbow, so we need the Titan to fix the underbow. And let me see where we are with this. Oh 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 oh! It feels tight already. Right. Oh, it's, it's already tight. So I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen it right off, oh, hold on, yeah I'm going to loosen it right off just to relax the the neck, that's it, loosened as much as I want it to loosen. Let me just check to see what that has done, yeah, it's made the underbow worse but that's fine, I'm just going to let the neck rest. It's worrying whenever the, you, you've loosened it and it was already tight and you have under the pull to remove. I let the, I'm going to give the neck a bit of a press and a squeeze. It's a two-piece neck. Yeah, it's a two-piece neck. It's got it's a join there. I don't know if you can see that, that bloody camera. Expensive camera. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of exercise there. Mm, it does work it a bit, you know, when you do that, it does a bit of exercise. I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to see how much I dare tighten this to get that underbow out, because the underbow is naughty. It's not a nice and underbow. As you saw from the video before, it's a little bit, a little bit more than what it should be. Now, I fixed a guitar's neck. That had a bad underbow but the truss rod wouldn't take it out and what I did is I I put it on two pinions like that the neck across the two pinions and I put a weight on top of the neck and let it sit there the weight I put on was one leg of my fridge because I didn't have tr I didn't have uh, the right <laughs> clamps to do it but it, it helped it a bit. Let's just see where we are now with that tightening and loosening. Loosening and loosening. 
Oh, we have helped it. So let's give it another tweak. It's nowhere near as bad as what it was originally. Let's just see. Right, okay. I might even get another one out of this if it hasn't helped. Ooh, do you know something? I'm going to give it another little tweak, but at the moment it's exactly where I want it. Maybe just a hair more, if I can. Yeah, that's the perfect underbow for me anyway. Oh, let me show you on the camera because you'll say, Austin, you're a liar, like, you're a big liar. You didn't show us, so how do I know it's perfect? Right, okay. There's the top end. A little bit of daylight there, but that's the truss rod being adjusted makes that happen. There's the underbow, the sliver, the whole way along, and it's flatter. Now, I would like to take that up, but I'm not going to swing on that truss rod anymore. I'm going to leave the truss rod cover off because I may have to go back into it again because the strings are going to put pressure on that underbow and if it's weak at all it'll bend it up even more so I may have to swing on that truss rod if, the, if it's uh, a weak neck so I like this guitar it's cute let's see if should I or should I not give it another little swing on this truss rod while I'm there Let's just see. Am I being naughty? Oh, that's as much as I could possibly do that. And what has it done for me lately? A little bit, a little bit. I think it's perfect where I want it now. Right, okay. Tighten up these nuts. What I did is I, when I used this camera for a complete video the last video the one with the uh, fender telecaster i i put it on maximum quality <laughs> god what a mistake the files were about 10,000 gigabytes so i've adjusted this one down to high definition i don't mind it being 10,000 gigabytes but my broadband down here by the sea maximum i can get is two and a half megabytes upload 10 megabytes download so you can imagine what it's like trying to upload a high quality uh, super high quality videos to YouTube I'm quite happy with high definition 4k uh, they've got the screws on the side which I like which gives you if you tighten the screw on the size it gives you more tension and I like uh, 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 guitars with more tension on them because then it's not going to slip out of tune just as much. Right. You know, I'm not rushing this. It's just I just enjoy doing little guitars. So this is about the seventh guitar I've done in the last four days. Okay, need a little chip there, a little chip there. The nut's far too high. Let me just see, is the nut... I'm not going to change the nut, even if it is plastic. It feels plastic, but I'm not going to change it. Right, I'm going to move, the, move this now and do some fret polishing. Do I zoom out a bit so you can see... Oh, look at that there, isn't that posh? No more singing, though, because you're... Now, the frets look pretty good. I don't think this guitar has been played much at all. It hasn't had what you call the sweetest life because the body's a little bit damaged. I'm going to do a quick fret level on this to check. Maybe I don't, I will accept 400 because I'm bringing the frets down. But I'm going to use the file for those. But I'm going to bring the 400 down for the rest of it. And again, you see I'm going circular. Oh, 
Right, let's just give this a little rundown. See what that's like. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hold on a second. Beautiful. 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 I'm just too. Be You're getting more songs from me now. Oh, aren't you love? Look at that. That's beautiful. It was fast too as well. Interesting. I'm not going to scrape this neck. Uh, sometimes I scrape a neck, but this one's pretty clean. Uh, what I'm going to do next is get rid of all the iron filings and then give it a, a 3000 polish. I just love to see the wealthy luthiers working. The 3000 grit sandpaper, they just throw it away. <laughs> but I have no desire to be wealthy. None whatsoever. I have a car, I have a lovely place to live, and I'm paying my bills, and that's all I need, and I'm doing what I like. Right, okay, now a little bit of soap and water first. I'm doing very well, those two boys. A bit of soap and water just to make sure I've got off all the filings. I might actually do as well. I see how that neck comes up with just some water. You know, I might just do as well. This is soap as well in this. But you don't want to put too much soap on your... Look at the dirt. You don't want to put too much soap on it, so it's only a, a hint. It's not a full drop of fairy liquid on that. It's just I have... Because I'm cheap, I have a bottle of hand cleanser uh, for washing my hands. And I fill it up with water and put a couple of drops of fairy liquid in it. And I wash my hands with that because I couldn't be bothered buying liquid soap in the shops because I don't like spending money. Uh, so I just do a little squirt of that into the tissue and it's diluted like fairy liquid. And I don't recommend you doing that every time you clean your guitar. I don't recommend any soap on your guitar at all. What I'm going to do in this is I'm going to run a, a stiff brush, a nylon brush, just top and bottom of the frets just to make sure I haven't left any metal filings down there. Do I see some dust lying there? Doesn't matter if I do or not. The next step is my favorite bit. Guess what my favorite bit is? Go on guys, guess. There's a special prize for those who can guess what my favorite bit of guitar is. The guitar Luther's the Luther Lutherification. <laughs> Well, the prize is well done because it's oh, lemon oil, because it smells of everything is lovely. I love the smell of lemon oil in the morning. Oh, I've done that bit already, haven't I? Am I repeating the same? No, no I'm getting old fashioned. I'm getting old fashioned. And, oh, look at that there, right? Okay. <sighs> love it. Smells lovely. This, this is very, very dry and fretboard, so I might actually do this twice. I've left this running. Oh, what's it doing? It's 2108 and the battery's flashing. Right, okay, so I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to replace the battery because I was clever enough to buy three batteries for this. at 60 quid each for the batteries for the camera. 60 quid each. There's expression in Malta. When you when you when you spend money on something you, you you regret, it comes from the soul, and you have to hold your chest. That it comes from the soul, it comes from the soul, because you don't want to spend it. All right, okay, new battery coming. Well, you can almost see me in this. Thank you for jumping off my shoulder. It's a half size guitar. I thought it was a three quarter size guitar. The crackling's going from the switches. All I, did, all I did since I last saw you was I cleaned the switches. I took off the jack plug and tightened it up and uh, polished the frets, as you saw. Put new strings on uh, and the neck is fine now. It's more for a child or a very small person, this guitar, so it's not what you call. It's called an 
Electric Elf by Tanglewood and they're lovely guitars. I like them. You can buy them from £60 on Amazon to £90 on Reverb. They're not that dear but they're a nice little collector's guitar and that's nice and shiny. I'm going to go around with it with a little red pen and tidy up any little scratches but have a listen.